Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. A quick midweek video here with some new mounting hardware that I've been working on. Well, one is a new mount and the other one is a revision of my back 855 mount. I was asked if I could make something to allow for the Saab Voton controller to be attached to a two frame bike. And I'm always up for a challenge. So this is what I've come up with. It's nothing super fancy, um, but then the Saab isn't a super fancy controller either. It's pretty chunky and heavy controller, so after considering several solutions, I went for brackets that zip tie to the frame at these four points, and it's bolted to the controller with M6 hardware, and I'm using nylock nuts here to make sure nothing can come apart during the, uh, the vibration that you get on the road. Uh, these cut out to shape to fit the specific bike that I was asked to make this for, but they can be adjusted to fit the profile of pretty much any tube that you can think of. Um, the second mount here is just a very basic update to the 855 mount. And a guy on our Discord group is using the new Frankenrunner from Grin Technologies. And this is a variation of the back 855 that's been modified at the back. Not on this one, this is, a, this is an original one, stock one. Um, but it's been modified, and I'll post some pics as well, on this video to provide a solution essentially to the only real weakness of the back 855 which is the JST connection here and what it does is it, it seals it all in and makes sure that the entire controller is IP67 and not just the block of it itself. Um, so I've altered the mount to basically take into account the extra piece that is on the back of it here and that allows that to fit CYC have also done a similar thing with their back 855s to add extra potting on. And again, there's an extra piece on, which meant that my existing stuff was not fitting. Both of, the, both of these are really cool solutions to this known issue with the back 855. If you're interested in any of this stuff, uh, you can check it out on the links below. Uh, both of these things came from requests from, from members of our Discord community. So if you're struggling with controller mounting and design, you're welcome to join and ask questions and I can certainly give you advice and who knows, maybe it'll result in something that we can make. Thanks for watching the channel. Cheers.